Today we're here at my house and we are going to be doing a DIY tortoise setup for my radiated tortoise. Oh my gosh, look at that. What is that? That's great. Look at that, unbelievable. Looks like there's a tear in the back of their enclosure. There's just no comparison. It's just a massive upgrade. He's getting a mansion right now. What is up everyone and welcome back to another episode. So today we're here at my house and we are going to be doing a DIY tortoise setup for my radiated tortoise. The current setup that he's in, he's been in there for like a year and a half now, maybe a little bit less. But anyways, he's completely outgrown it, so we're gonna give him a nice upgrade today. So we're here at the current radiated tortoise's setup. You can see that it doesn't look like it's too small for him, but really it is. I wanna get him in something a little bit bigger so he can get some more exercise. So right now he's in something pretty simple. All we have is mulch, a water dish, and I do keep a lid on there to keep any raccoons or possums out. But you can see he's just gorgeous. What's up? Oh, you like your butt scratched? Look at him. He likes his butt scratched. Oh yeah, feels good. So we're gonna go get a concrete mixing tub from Home Depot. I might actually have one here, so we might not need to go, but I'm gonna show you guys that in a second. We got some of my beautiful lizards here. Oh my gosh, look at that. What is that? That's great. Look at that, unbelievable. Looks like there's a tear in the back of their enclosure. Yeah, look at that. There's a hole ripped in there. Jeez. Wow, that is absolutely incredible that that happened. Wow, that's crazy that that happened. You know what I think it was is we had the yard men here probably about four days ago. And they moved these cages forward so they can get the grass right back there. And I bet you he nicked it and probably saw it and just put it back. Didn't want to say anything but that is horrible because I could have just had some escaped lizards. Let me pull it out and look from the other side. It's not too bad from right here. So you see they don't really have anywhere to go, but the little one could have pushed through easily. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's bad. We need to move these guys to a new enclosure real quick. So now that I got these two guys, we're gonna walk them right over here to their new enclosure. I kind of needed an upgrade anyways, but I'm pretty upset. It's a perfectly good, about a $100 cage that's now in the garbage. Look at that, nice and open already just for you guys. Here you go. So I'm gonna get these guys set up with a water dish right away and put some more branches in here so they can climb around. So we're gonna go get back to the tortoise now. So I was able to actually find a concrete mixing tub and an old one that I haven't used in a while that's ready to go for this tortoise. I don't know what size it is. They come in a couple different ones, but I think this is the large one. It's pretty big. It's gotta be like three feet long, two and a half feet. I don't know, two and a half, three feet. But anyways, you can get these for about $12 at Home Depot. You can see it's really nice. So this is going to be his new habitat that we are going to set him up in. I'm gonna actually rinse this out. There's a bunch of old dirt in there. You can see, I don't want any of that in there. So we're just gonna give it a nice, good, quick rinse and that should be good. This is the substrate we're gonna use in there. It's what I use in all my enclosures. I'm sure you guys have seen it in my other videos. No float, Cypress Blend, great stuff. We're gonna use that. So I just found this in the garage and we're gonna use this as his new little hide area inside the new setup. So you can see right now just how much bigger the new setup is gonna be for him right now. This one is probably like a foot, maybe like 15 inches wide by like three feet long. This one's gotta be much longer than that. And it's just way bigger overall. Like take a look, when you put it like here, there's just no comparison. It's just a massive upgrade. He's getting a mansion right now. But for those of you that don't know much about these tortoises, this is a radiated tortoise from Madagascar. They are a critically endangered species. So these are one of the most heavily trafficked tortoises in the world. They are highly endangered, but just take a look at these patterns. Just incredible. So the reason why these guys are so trafficked is because of how beautiful they are. So every radiated tortoise is gonna have different colors, different lines, none of them are the same. The ones that are highly sought after are the ones that have these high yellow lines that go all throughout its shell. This one has some really nice yellow bands, but you wouldn't call it a screamer is kind of what people in the reptile world will call it. This one you wouldn't call it screamer, but it is a absolutely beautiful tortoise. I said this in another video, but in 2018 they recovered in just two houses, well, two smuggle houses, there was over 18,000 radiated tortoises. One had 10,000, another had 8,000. 
So the fate of all those tortoises was to be smuggled and sold on the black market, most likely going to be shipped over to Asia and smuggled into the United States. In Asia, there's not too many laws protecting these animals, so no one really cares where they come from. It's pretty horrible. But this one was a captive-born baby, was not smuggled. A good friend of mine actually breeds them. He's got a nice smooth shell, just beautiful. And then this is his new home. Just look how much bigger it is. It's awesome. All right, come here, dude. So guys, this is the location right here where we're gonna set up the tortoise. You can see he's right there. So he's not too far from where he was before. So we're gonna start out by setting it up. We're gonna add some of the mulch to it. We're gonna set this up all like this. When come look, we're gonna spread the mulch out. So he has a nice area that he can walk in and burrow up. This is a little more. Nope. Perfect. We're gonna give him this little hide just so he can escape the sun. If we didn't give him a hide and he was sitting out here in the sun, you know, within 20, 30 minutes in the morning, he'd be cooked and he would die without this. So I'm gonna give him this right here. We're gonna transfer his water dish over. Just gotta clean that out right here. Give him a water dish. So we're just gonna fill his water dish up with some water right now so he can stay nice and hydrated. And we're gonna grab some hibiscus for him right here. So we're gonna give the radiated tortoise some of these beautiful hibiscus flowers. They absolutely love them and they're very healthy for them. So the time has come, we are gonna move the radiated tortoise into his brand new enclosure. So you see how simple it was to make? You can literally make this for probably 30 bucks total with the hide, the mixing tub, the mulch, and the water dish. Super simple, super cheap, and the tortoise has a new home. You can see how much bigger it is. So right now I'm actually gonna get him some more food so he can feed him and so he can settle into his home. This right here is the fridge that I keep all my animal food in, as well as for small little kittens or whatever else we may get. So I operate pretty much 90% off donations. So I get donations about twice a week. So whatever I get is what I feed out. So right now we have some spinach, we have romaine, we have collard greens. We have all kinds of good stuff. These papayas were grown at my grandma's house. So I actually have some romaine right here in this drawer. This one piece is what we're gonna, oh, this one piece is what we're gonna feed the tortoise now. It's kind of late in the evening. It's not late, but it's about to be sunset. So he's not gonna eat too much, but this will be a nice snack for him. I just got over here and this little dude is just munching away at the hibiscus. He loves it. So with pretty much all tortoises, they love brightly colored things. So when you give them strawberries, blueberries, these brightly colored hibiscus, they're just naturally attracted to it because in the wild, that'll mean that's like fruit. Here you go, dude. Here's your romaine. Oh, he's too busy exploring. Oh, come eat. You want to come eat? Here, let me try to do this. Come on. You're gonna go for the bottom? Nice. Yeah. Munching away. I'm headed over to my garage right now. I'm actually gonna add some decor to his habitat. Wow, it got really dark. So I'm gonna add some decor to his habitat just so he has some more shade and it'll just look a lot nicer. So this is the decor piece that I did find in my garage. So this bottom piece right here is gonna give him some nice shade so you can escape the sun, cool off, and it gives it just like a nice zen garden look. It really is just for aesthetics only. This little dude is settling in just great to his new setup, but the one thing we don't have is a name for him. I am really bad at naming my animals. Like for the most part, they don't have names, but I will shout out the person who picks a name for this guy that I like best. So. I want all you guys to go comment down below what I should name this little dude. So that is going to conclude yet another episode. I hope everyone enjoyed watching it. We did a very simple DIY tortoise setup that can be made for under 30 bucks. You can get the mixing tub for around $12 at Home Depot, bag of mulch for about $2. And instead of that little brown hut, you can do a ceramic clay pot. And those are like $4, you just turn it sideways. And the water dish can be found at Home Depot. So if any of you guys are interested in doing this, you can comment down below any questions you have. I will help guide you. If you guys have not already, I want all of you guys to go give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below what you thought. Let me know what you want to see in future videos. 
comment down below a name for that little radiated tortoise because I don't have a name for him and subscribe.